The Nameless Horror by Thomas Ligotti Read by Jeff Clark The place was an old studio. To him it seemed abandoned, yet who knows? Certainly nothing there was in its place, not the broken odds and ends lying about, not the scattered papers, not even the dust. The panes of the skylight were caked with it. Yet who can be sure? Perhaps there was some imperceptible interval between occupation and abandonment, some fine phase of things which he was simply unable to detect at the moment. He stooped and picked up a few of the wrinkled papers, which appeared to be drawings. Now a little rain began drooling down the panes of the skylight. He looked at the drawings, shuffling a stack of them page after page before his eyes. So elaborate, everything in them was made of tiny hairs or little veins, insect veins. There were shapes. He could not tell what they were supposed to be, but something about them, their chaotic intricacy, suggested horrors beyond all reason. A little rain seeped in through some fine cracks in the window panes above. It dripped down and made strange marks on the dusty floor of the old studio. Someone was coming up the stairs outside the door of the studio. So he hid behind that door, and when that individual entered, he slipped out unseen. He tiptoed down the stairs and ran through the streets. He was walking now. The rain was sluicing vigorously in the gutters, and in that tumbling runoff he saw something he could not identify, something of a highly complex nature. It looked like the bristling tail of a small animal, but it was also making weird wriggling movements as if it were moving on its own. When it was farther away, the object lost its definition. The thing's tortuous composition in which he thought he discerned a face could no longer alarm him. But the rain was coming down even harder now, so he retreated into a shelter along the street. It was just a little room with a wooden bench, open on one side and rain running off its roof, long watery ropes of rain that were swinging a little in the wind. The frayed edges of shadows were waving on the three walls. Damp smell, with something else too, some unsavory enigma about the place, something in its very outlines, its contours. What was it that happened in here? And could that be a little blood over there? The bench where he had sat down was now gleaming with dampness in the moonlight. At the other end, almost entirely absorbed into the dark little corner, was a bent figure, almost folded in half. It groaned and moved a little. Finally it straightened up, and its tangled hair tumbled down into the moonlight. Along the bench it slid, dragging itself and its rags slowly to his side. He, on the other hand, could not move an inch, not a hair. From somewhere within all that knotted intricacy, a pair of eyes opened, and then a pair of lips. They spoke to him. Let me tell you what my name is. But that was all he could take. When the figure leaned over, smiling so placidly, those shapeless lips had to whisper their words into the cold, damp ear of a corpse.